Hello, it's Burgess Taylor, and it is Monday. Normally, this is my coffee chat Monday, but today we're going to talk about books, and we're actually going to talk about my top Stephen King books. I had trouble narrowing down the, my top book. I had trouble narrowing down what were my top five? <laughs> so, I'm not going to give you the books in any order necessarily. If I had to recommend a handful of books to start with, your choice. You could read the inside covers, decide for yourself. But my very first book that I read by Stephen King was Salem's Lot. It was 1977 and I was 10 years old in fifth grade. My teacher, Mrs. Winnett, is who got us started reading it. And this is my book from back then. As you can tell, it is well loved. It was originally published in 1975. I didn't get a hold of it until 1977. I also have the hardcover. Some of these I have the hardcover and the paperbacks too. Next book would be It. This was probably the scariest book to me by Stephen King. When I read this, I stayed on the edge of the seat. To me, it was scary. My daughter, who is also an avid Stephen King fan, felt the same way about it. Awesome book. One of his best ones. It's also one of his largest ones. I think The Stand beats it by a little bit. Under the Dome's pretty big book, too. It's on here, so I'll go to that one next. Television series was actually pretty decent. Some of his TV adaptions aren't so great. Some of them are really good. And then some are, are mediocre. This one it was actually pretty good. They deviated from the book quite a bit, though, I thought. And the whole time I was watching it, I'm like, no, 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 it's different in the book. No, 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 it's different in the book. The Talisman by Stephen King and Peter Straub. If you read this one, then the next one, definitely necessary. And that is Black House by Stephen King and Peter Straub. Many years apart, they were written. But, oh, really good reads. The Stand. I don't know what happened to my cover. My daughter has a bad habit. Taking the covers off when she reads books and then the covers disappear. The same with my Duma Key one. I don't know what happened to the cover. I've had these books for a really long time. I need to get another one of these. But I've read this book a lot of times. I've actually watched the movie. I have it on DVD. I love the book. The movie's eh. One of the books that I'm going to mention that I don't have right now the, is 11-22-63. That's the day that Kennedy was shot and killed, and they had the series on Hulu. Awesome series. Uh, they did a great job with the television series. The book is friggin' awesome. But if I were going to start with Stephen King, as big as this book is, I think I would actually have to start with this one or The Gunslinger, the first book in the Dark Tower series, which is actually going to come out on movie, I believe. Here is The Dark Tower, The Gunslinger. One of the famous first lines, if you look up first lines for books, is the first line in this book. The man in black fled across the desert and the gunslinger followed. One of the great things about Stephen King, he's a storyteller. Yes, his books are not literary fiction. Firmly believe that he could write literary fiction. He is a friggin awesome writer. His character development is awesome. His setting, all of it, he draws you into the story and you feel like you are a part of it. Another good book by him is The Dark Half. Duma Key, sorry, I don't have the cover on it, but Duma Key was a really good book. It's also one of the bigger ones. I've read this book more than one time as well. Really good book. Gerald's Game. This book will make you think. I was on the edge of my seat when I was reading this and it will make you think. And one that you can't leave out if you're talking about Stephen King books is Misery. You cannot leave Misery out. It's one of the best movies that's based on Stephen King's books. One of the best movies. I loved the movie. <laughs> I loved the book. One of his books that's not very well known is The Eyes of the Dragon. This actually has his signature on the front of it. And This one is connected to the Dark Tower series. There are a lot of these books that are connected to the Dark Tower series. The Black House, Salem's Lot, Father Callahan is in there. Randall Flagg from The Stand is in there. There are um, a lot of these books are connected to the Dark Tower series. Cycle of the Werewolf. This is more like a novella. There are a couple of his. The Colorado Kid 
is one of his novellas. That's the book that Haven, the sci-fi television series, was based off of. This is a really good book. Firestarter. This movie, um, the first one was pretty good. After that one, I think I've watched the second one. It was just a, you know, eh. but the book is really good. The Dead Zone, really good book. There's a television series and a movie adaption of this one. And I believe that is, I have come to the end. If I were going to start with a, oh, I forgot. <laughs> we can't forget this one, The Shining. If you are interested in Stephen King's books, some, his first three books are in this. I've read all of these books. The original Shining book, not not Dr. Sleep. Dr. Sleep was okay, but The Shining, when people hear The Shining, they think of Jack Nicholson and the movie. And then there's the newer version, the movie of The Shining. The book was so much better. The book is so much better. It's an awesome book, but the movie doesn't really do it justice. The Shining scared me when I was little. I remember watching it. It was extremely scary, and I have both versions of The Shining the movie but I also have Carrie and I've watched the Salem's Lot movies <laughs> those are some more of the B movies CC Spacek did a pretty good job of Carrie Salem's Lot and The Shining and Carrie all in here all of his older works the first ones really great books um, another great book from back then would be Christine the car watch that movie too but if you're at all interested in Stephen King I would definitely start with the stand the gunslinger from the Dark Tower series his first three Carrie not so much Carrie is a decent book but it's by far nowhere near his best book I would start with it which is very scary the stand which is friggin awesome it's probably the stand and the gunslinger Salem's lot are probably my favorite three books by him if I had, if I had to narrow it down, but then I start thinking about some of his other books and <laughs> Bag of Bones is a really good book. They did a movie, a short movie, a two part movie on that one. The Regulators, The Tommyknockers, Lissy's Story. I could go on. I could go on. But if you've watched the show Under the Dome and you're interested, you might want to read that book. That's a rather big one. Some of his books are rather large, but I'm, I, I read pretty fast and his writing is really good. I get sucked into the story. I have a hard time putting the book down. I'm like, oh, well, let me just finish this chapter. Under the Dome, Stand, It, Salem's Lot, The Gunslinger, The Shining, any one of them, actually. Like I said, I absolutely love Stephen King. I'm about to start Spider's Keepers. I just finished Mr. Mercedes. Before that, I've read Revival. A little bit behind with some of his books, but that's okay. I, there are some I still need to buy. I also have the Stephen King Dark Tower Concordance. My daughter got me volume two. I got volume one. They're really good for trying to keep up with the Stephen King's world because a lot of the books are interconnected. Thanks for watching, y'all. Hope you have a good one. And I'll talk to you again soon. Just so you know, when I start rearranging my room again, my desk is probably going to go back there under that shelf. And then you'll see my bookcase when I film. Have a good one. Bye.